Hey you guys, so I'm ready to give you a tour of the inside of my condo. If you're ready, come on, let's go. my shoe cabinet to put all my shoes in because you know in Asia you don't wear shoes in the house so we'll do the kitchen in a minute that's my bedroom this is my living area I've got a nice comfy little couch little table my TV some storage I got actually pretty good storage now there may be some shoes or some clothes in there but because you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And of course, here is my balcony and um, I'm on the 29th floor, so I don't go out there. That rack that you see is for hanging clothes because um, yeah, I'm back to primitive life <laughs> where I wash and hang my clothes to dry. Um, but it's a nice view. Those are our sister condos over there some other condos and then I look down onto 7-Eleven somewhere around there and just a good view and actually the sound um, no, suppression or whatever you want to call it um, is pretty good I can hear ambulances but I really can't hear the traffic that much the view from the sofa um, each room has its own separate air conditioner except for the kitchen and the bathroom um, those have no air condition but it, I mean it's cool enough in there so here is the bathroom um, so the switch is on the outside and there is a step to go in the door so when I first moved here I had to be really careful because I needed to be mindful of that step so I don't come out of the bathroom and break my neck or stub my toe going in the door. So here's my little bathroom. It's my shower. And that is, what you see on the wall is a water heater. So in Thailand, you very seldom find hot water in the sinks kitchen and bath included, um, and you will find separate water heaters for the shower. So I can take hot showers. Um, the commode, the sink, no storage in here. So I bought containers for underneath. The mirror is all the way across. And yes, I love it. That's the bum gun. Um, they need to get with the program in the United States, y'all, because, I mean, you know, we don't use that. We just use toilet paper and or baby wipes. And, hey, I don't know how clean you think you're getting, but definitely need a bum gun. 
So there's the bathroom. Next, I'm gonna show you the guest bedroom. Now this technically is the master bedroom, but I did not want it and I'll show you why. But it's an excellent view, nice big floor to ceiling windows, beautiful draperies, um, silk draperies actually. And the window pops open, there's the air con. It is a king size bed don't mind the comforter because that's what the landlord provided and of course if I have guests I will definitely purchase something different because that's just not sufficient for me I do have sheets brand new for the bed I just need to get a duvet and then there's the wardrobe for your clothes and you see I store my suitcases up there now the reason why I didn't want this room is because the wardrobe doors don't open all the way because of the bed is so large and all that scooting and, you know, I just, I'm not going to be able to do that. I need to be able to fling the doors open to see what I need to wear that day. And then, so here is another door to go into the bathroom with the light switch. And then next to my bedroom. Okay. So this is technically the guest bedroom. It's a queen size bed, which is sufficient for me. I have a desk that I can work at um, comfortably instead of being in the little corner. And I also have the floor to ceiling windows with a good view. Um, I do close the drapes at night, even though I like the city lights because that Chiwetai residence comes on the lights and they just shine. I like my room really dark and they just shine in my room. Um, and I just can't take that, that light. I can't sleep that well. Um, so nice bed. It's comfy because I have a mattress um, comforter thing, whatever you want to call it, those mattress pad, really thick. And that's my closet and it's really sufficient for me. I do have clothes in the other closet though because I have too many clothes. And then behind the door, I have a little storage area for doodads and whatnot. So on to the kitchen. Okay, so you may be wondering why they're sliding glass doors. Well, it makes a lot of sense, right? Sliding glass doors, when you're cooking, close them. The smell of whatever you're cooking, frying the chicken, cooking the fish or whatever stays in the kitchen and does not come out into your living space. And it makes a lot of sense. Small refrigerator, but it's good enough for me because I don't do a lot of cooking and I don't buy a lot of food at one time. So that's fine for me. And then I have uh, my cabinets. This is my range hood and the way they work is you pull it out, it comes on, push it back in. This is very common in Thailand to only have two burners. Um, some condos do have four, some even have ovens, but they're more geared toward Westerners. This is typical Thai, um, small condos. And then I have a nice sink. I didn't do my breakfast dish. And then down here, some more cabinetry, my microwave. And this is my washer dryer combo. Um, like I said, I wash and hang my clothes out. I did dry some wash rags and towels just cause I wanted them soft. Um, but it just takes a long time to dry. And so the floors are nicely tiled. Um, and then the backsplash is like a porcelain tile, um, shiny tile and the same in the bathroom as well. So yeah, this is my little cozy condo. It is 46 square meters, um, which I'm assuming is like 500 and something square feet, which is really actually good enough for me. Um, I'm getting used to not bumping into things. I have everything put where I need it to and cleaning is really minimal. So it works well for me. When you come in the door, um, you have your light switches, but this is a little pad to cut the lights off. Um, I think it cuts them all off, I'm not sure, but I definitely know they cut the ceiling lights off and the table light. So guys, 
in this condo, the amenities are fabulous. Um, I'm working on a video now and I will be posting it shortly so you get to see everything that they have to offer. This condo bills itself as the first boutique condo. Um, I don't know about all that, but what I want to say is when you come in the doors, there's a doorman, um, just like a doorman that you would find if you lived on Park Avenue in New York. Um, they are in white uniforms of like Navy or military uniforms with hats and white gloves. And they open the door each and every time you go out the door or in the door. Even if you do it every five minutes, they're gonna open that door for you. They're gonna greet you. They're going to bow down. Um, it is just really different, but also very refreshing because Thai people are very accommodating. They are very eager to please and very polite and very humble. So most people in the service industry will bow down to you. They'll give you what's called a Y, which is with their hands folded. Um, I think it's pronounced Y-W-A-I, but I mean, that happens like in 7-Eleven and McDonald's and KFC and the stores and the banks, everywhere you go, they are, you know, greeting you really politely. And I have yet to come across any bad customer service here. I mean, it is fabulous. We need to take a note from them in the United States because, well, we all know what that's like, right? You could be, I've been to drive throughs of McDonald's in the United States and instead of saying hello welcome to McDonald's the lady on the speaker was like what you want so um, but yeah it is really I feel like I live in something that I'm paying ten thousand dollars a month for and um, they are just very accommodating and it's just wonderful okay I hope that you enjoy my condo tour um, I'm really blessed to even be in the country of Thailand and I definitely am very comfortable in this condo. Um, even though I'm missing all the modern amenities of the United States like a dishwasher, a garbage disposal, um, a dresser for my clothes, a walk-in closet, a garage, a car, a linen closet, um, a bigger refrigerator, uh, what else? Oh, I could think of so many things, but it's not that serious. It really isn't. Um, I am very content. Yes, it's a learning curve. Some things you have to say, okay, where am I going to put this? Or I miss ice maker in the refrigerator. Ice and water coming out of the door. What's that about? But I mean, you know, like I said, it's it's a trade-off for everything and I am completely content with doing things in a different manner and just being in a great place. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys later. Meanwhile, stay moving y'all. Bye.